Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Pokemon Tower Defense. This time we are going to be tackling Mount Moon 2. I believe this one is a bit harder than the last one. Could be wrong. Then again, we do have Bulbasaur this time. We do have a fairly overpowered Butterfree right now. So, I don't know how hard this is going to be. But, we're going to check it out anyways. Somewhere in the sky, Gary is searching for Ash. Yeah, I will find you, Ashy boy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's Ash voice. Ash's voice. Ash's voice. Pikachu, go! You looking for somebody? Yeah, Ashy boy, we need to talk. Oak Slab got us yacked. No time for that now. I was being followed. We need to get out of here. Followed by him. You won't believe me if... <laughs> You won't believe me if I told you. What makes you think I will listen to you? Oh, really? They do have this thing on still? Well, well, I am the Pokemon Master, which if I remember correctly, I beat OKs. Wait. Okay, so you beat me and became the Master, so what? I'm heading to Cerulean. Good luck, good luck facing the birds. The birds? Wait, the birds? What do you mean? It can't be the trio! Are you ready, Firo? Meanwhile, I, I did the voices incredibly wrong there, by the way. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at Mount Moon, Brock and you managed to clear the rocks and enter the mountain. Oh, well, this level is relatively hard to grind at the time, I remember. Oh. And there's a chance of failure, so. Good, we made it. Now, where are those two? Here we are, boss. I was worried those pesky Pokemon had blocked you out for good. So you brought the hero twerp? I guess he fell for your sad story. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> he even helped me clear the entrance. Won't that twerp try to stop us? We have nothing to we have nothing to worry about. With my Pokemon and the Pokemon that you that you guys hypnotized, we will carry these fossils out of here. This these fossil out of here. Is fossils is fossil like like fish fish? Is like a, a plural that way? I don't know. Anyways. Yes, sir. Then the general can bring them back to life, right? Don't talk don't talk about the general in front of this kid. Let's go. Okay, so obviously being the hero I am I'm trying to stop them. Basically in this level we have um moonstones that Oh, these are fossils, never mind, so they're not moonstones. Uh, several moonstones that we have to defend. There's kind of like tiers. So at the beginning, no one's going to pass this tier of moonstones. They're going to hit this tier of moonstones and go back. So all we... Mm, we just need basically two Pokemon out here. And I'm going to use Pikachu and... Hey guys, we're back. Ugh, the recording ended like two minutes ago and I didn't even notice. Not two minutes ago. But the game has progressed quite a bit since you last saw it, unfortunately. Um, this second tier of, of, of fossils here was already taken. I got the chance to put out some Pokemon. Um, we did encounter a Paris. I did not catch it because Ash does not catch a Paris. Um, basically, it's very hard to defend these two these two at this, at this early on in the game. Very, very hard to defend these two tiers of Moonstones. So, you might... Moonstones, fossils. You might, you might as well not try. And for... Yeah. And I was saying, I, I stuck Pikachu on super effective because... I want him to be attacking the Zubats. I don't want him to be attacking the Geodudes and such. I might actually stick this guy on a uh, super effective too. Just so that he attacks the rock types. Okay, so now, now we're getting now, now we're gonna have to do some dragon around here, I think. Probably gonna have to do some dragon around here, yeah. I would say. Just so we can get maximum damage going down. Okay, Pidgey's leveling up. Leveling up. Leveling up. I'm trying to be more attentive to the recording if it ends. It's very hard to tell. Pikachu, level up. Also, leveling up. Takedown. It also damages the user a little. See, that, that's just kind of the thing. It's a good move, but recoil damage 25. Ah, it's just. It would leap. It's a good combo with Leaf Seed, I'll say that much, so... I'll take it just because you can, like, Leaf Seed after you use it a bit. It takes a lot of microing. Later game, you don't really want to be dealing with that kind of micro, so... There's another Paris. Paris are relatively rare here. Not super rare, relatively rare, though. 
So usually you'd want to grab a Paris if you see it. All the Paris aren't that great Pokemon. They're very, they're quite rare in Pokemon Tower Defense at least. I'm not microing very well at all. But oh man, this is actually quite bad. Might lose this one, guys. Hmm. Hoping that's not the case. I'm gonna try to get Butterfree down here, I guess. No, no one's really useful for Z-Bats except for this guy. Did he just one-shot that Geodude, actually? Pikachu's getting pretty strong. Oh man, this is getting, this is getting very, like, I don't know if we can defend this. Is, is this the last wave, hopefully? I don't know at all. Butterfree leveling up. Oh man, we still have lots more waves to go. I'm fairly certain we're not gonna be able to do this. It could be probably probably just a case of me um, not being high leveled enough. Although it could also be just me not being careful enough. I'm fairly certain we're gonna lose this one, guys. Sorry. Oh, there's, there's a Clefairy, also very rare. Tempted to catch it, but not going to because Ash never catches a Clefairy. The what is his name? Isaac. I don't know, the professor guy who loves Clefairies and thinks they came from outer space in that episode is the guy who takes care of the Clefairies. Yeah, I'm fairly certain this is screwed. Yep, I missed. That's pretty GG. Yep. Wait, is, is there more? No, there's no more. Did we kill her? Oh, wait, oh it's right over there. <laughs> Not this time, kid. Hey guys, we're back. I played Viridian Force 2 like five times off camera. It took like five minutes. Not very long at all when you speed it up. Awesome feature that they added, by the way. Um, so everyone here is just almost level 18. Pikachu's almost level 19, this, this guy. And I th oh, shoot. What? Am I at the top? Okay, I'm at the top. Okay. It looked like I was at the bottom for some reason. Maybe it's because like, it's copied over. I don't know. But whatever, um, I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to get, yeah, Butterfree up here first. We, we really need to take care of these guys as, as soon as we can. The more, the more, oh, Bellsprout, oh, Bellsprout is rare here instead of Oddish, I guess, right, because this is blue version. A lot of rare, the different rare Pokemon here you should look out for. Remember, it was tough at, at first trying to get a shiny Bell Sprout, someone to trade me one of those, but finally got it. Pikachu, little guy, level 19, that's okay, he's our starter, he's allowed to be overpowered. Oh, okay, now we gotta get other Pokemon out, kind of spaced out there, that was kind of bad. Mm. Not the greatest setup we got going here. Let's scoop everyone up over here, then we can move them as we, as we choose to. Mmm, we can't... Uh, probably not the best guy to move around. Pikachu doesn't do damage to everyone. Only does damage to certain targets. Uh, might be talking a bit quiet, sorry about that. Might be talking a bit loud, sorry about that. It's very hard to tell. Very hard to tell. I went while recording, whilst recording. Hmm. Pikachu now knows Electro Ball instead of Thundershock. That's why the animation looks a bit different. Hmm. Thunder's not doing much damage to that guy. This guy going up there. Get Butterfree back up there. Oh, shoot. Oh, I messed up a bit there. I get these guys on this Clefable here. Just trying to just trying to focus here, guys, because this is like I mean, this is a level like the game is like obviously like tutorialish in a sense until now, but it's, it starts to, okay like they know how to play the game. Let's try let's try to ramp it up a bit. It's definitely noticeable. You might get stuck here depending on your party, like I am kind of right now. But luckily there's no level cap anymore, so you can just overpower your Pokemon now. Which is awesome. Uh, 
Uh, oh. Ah, this might be bad. Not doing much damage to that guy. You know, grass type, I guess. On him. There's another Clefairy, but I'm not gonna catch it again. A lot of rare things in this. If you're a hunter like I am, you might want to get some stuff here. Pokemon Hunter and Trapper. Um, yeah. So like I said, like I've like I've said before, it's just really the, la the last wave you're gonna have to try to be careful on because everything else. You see, Pikachu, Pikachu can just one shot those Zubat now, it's very good. I do a lot of moving around here if you don't have the right setup. Ah, that's not good. This is not good. Very not good. Sorry guys, just concentrating a bit here. Oh no. This is look, not looking too good. Can I get Pikachu down here to one shot these guys? Oh no, Butterfree's got it. Pikachu can't do anything to that guy there. Um, yeah, looking kind of, kind of tough right now. Unfortunate. This guy got through, I need to send someone who can actually do damage to him, so not Pikachu. Why don't you get back up there? This level's quite a challenge if you have Ashes Party, I must say. Nice, leveling up. Leveling up. Let's try to get Pikachu up there. Yeah. Okay, just Zubats for now. Gold bats. Uh, I might even try sand attack because this guy's fast enough. Actually, we have whirlwind now. I forgot about that. We do have whirlwind now. Stick pigeon and whirlwind. Hopefully, it catches him. It did not catch him. That was a huge risk on my part, and now we're probably screwed. Um, I still have Pigeon Whirlwind, so he's not doing anything. We, we do have Whirlwind now, though, yeah. Um, hmm. I'd be, very, I'd be very surprised if we managed to pull this one through. As you can see, our money's going up, by the way. Okay, this is a, this is a perfect chance to use Whirlwind. Pidgey, do not fail this Whirlwind. Okay. Very good. We have everyone just back off from that guy. Kill him over here. Kill him over here. Kill him down here. We want to kill that guy way down here. We've gone to turn around holding the candy. It's what we wanted to do. Uh, we, we're still going to want to deal with these guys, though. Hmm. Oh, wait, he's still in Whirlwind, isn't he? Yep. Uh, hopefully this guy's dying. He's not dying. We need to focus our resources down there immediately. Um, Pokemon cannot be whirlwinded more than once, unfortunately. Uh, this is going to be very hard, tough to pull through, guys. Doubtful. Very looking very doubtful to pull this one through. But we started. We're going to try. It's unfortunate. I don't like releasing long episodes. Now someone over here is going to get that. Oh, Pidgey levels level 18. I thought it was 21. Okay. So uh, this is already looking good. If we have, if we have a Pidgeotto on our team, this is definitely going to be... Bit easier. Mmm, very doubtful. Looking very doubtful. Uh, we can't pull out a whirlwind now. Yep. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, grinded a bit off camera. Gonna try it. Gonna try it. It's a very hard level for this early in the game. So I think I'm gonna do, do Pikachu and uh, what's his face, Butterfree, because uh, the thing is that. The, the, the Zubats are more of a problem here. The, the Geo dudes don't move very fast. It's very easy for what's his face to take him down quick. Um, what's his face? 
This guy. Confusion, look, I can confusion one shots him, so we don't worry, need to worry about Bulbasaur or like Pidgeot or someone else. Oh yeah, they say they're focusing super effective, so. A little unfortunate, but what, what can we do here? Not much. I still think the trade-off is more worth here. Um, get these, let me get these guys in place, make sure that they're on the right abilities. Razor Leaf, cool. It's kind of unfortunate, but this is kind of how it has to go. This is where it gets a bit tricky here with all these large guys coming at us. Pikachu. Although, Pikachu is really not good against these guys, it seems. I think that's true, right? Okay. <coughs> yeah, it's just it's a very low, quite a challenging level. How annoying. What is he attacking? That was weird. Holy Pidgeotto can do some statue damage here, yeah. Flying type against a grass type. I believe that Parasect is a grass type. I could be wrong. Don't call me on that, I guess. Why is doesn't why is he not attacking that guy? Vulpix, right, instead of Growlithe. Lots of rare things in this level, like I said. It's a cool level that way. It's also quite challenging though it seems. The good thing about the Geo things is that they're incredibly tough to kill, but they're they're very slow too, which is good. Wow, we were able to take that down that guy that guy down guy that guy down quite quickly. It's good to know. Out. Good job. Leveling up, freaking Butterfree. Whirlwind. Okay, he also knows Whirlwind now. Um, <sighs> Whirlwind, very useful ability, like I said. I'll learn instead of Sleep Powders. Sleep Powder is really good, but like it just has such a long cooldown that. And, um, <sighs> how most ability works is when you place the person down, except for like um, status changing abilities, or like Rain Dance, or like Sunny Day, or something like that. Um, how most like abilities like that work is that once you put the guy down, um, he, he'll 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 use the he'll, he'll, like a, a full cycle of the cooldown would go, and then and then he'll use the ability. It, otherwise, it, I mean, it makes sense. Otherwise, it could be kind of exploitable, like as in um, using a like basically like um, using an ability that the, like 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 sleep powder like that, like 72 cooldown, just like constantly spamming, placing him on the ground. And getting like 500 sleep powders in a row. It could be very exploitable. So I think it's alright that they do that. Um. See, like, I, I really want to, like, make Butterfree use String Shot, but the damage from Confusion is just so invaluable, I feel. In, in, invaluable? What's the, what's the word I'm looking for here? Invaluable? Not invaluable. Twister! Okay, good. It's a dragon type, but it's. It has a flinch chance, okay. Quick attack. Learn well, instead of quick attack. He's not gonna get stabbed from it, but... It, Ivysaur is really good here. So it's, he, we finally got him to the level where he's actually able to do something. Which is very good. Okay. Zubat. Globat, rather. unfortunate, but this is just how it has to sort of be. It's really annoying. <coughs> you can only whirlwind a guy once, so... If you're wondering why I'm not whirlwinding every, everyone, get confusion up here. Substantial damage that Pidgeotto does here. I'm rubbing my eye. Might not have been the best idea. Okay. That's alright. Might whirlwind this guy as soon as he picks up that candy. Or the, the thingy, rather. Fossil. Rolling them, come on. Wow. Okay, is it going through? It's going through on Geodude, isn't it? God dang it. 
Ooh, okay, we're down to our last thing of candies, guys. Uh, looking doubtful once again. Really annoying. Really annoying. This level, quite hard. These two guys just are not doing damage to this guy, like, two. Why are they not doing damage? It's like, I don't understand. I just don't understand, guys. Why is Pidgeotto? Why is no one doing damage? No. Uh. Okay. At least Ivy Swords are preventing the Onyxes from going through. That was a huge thing, the Onyxes. Onyx Eye. Onyx -ies. Glad that the Onyxes, Onyx Eye, are being taken care of. Okay, well he just well wanted that guy. I'm gonna put him on string shot and target the fastest, yeah. Just so that we have that thing, and then we can now we now we can. I, oh, that that buff plat lasts for quite a while, I believe. A whiles, a whiles, I believe. So that's good, obviously. <coughs> okay, that's actually really good. This guy's already pretty slow. I don't think we need that. Um, we're gonna keep out, keep an eye out for what's up in front. I really do. We gotta be careful for what we see. To change our actions that we take. Okay, good. We, can go. we got him. We got him. Okay, so I believe I was just throwing earlier. Um, I think the string shots is quite something that you need to use here. I guess. But my bad, guys. Sorry for making you waste your time. I guess. Nice. That's really good that we're able to take care of those guys like that. Um, wait, where is he? This guy's already pretty slow, but it wouldn't hurt to slow him down. Oh man, this is quite bad actually. Um, I'd be so to get down there. Ooh, bad, 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 bad. Ta, ta, ta. Slow down, boy. There you go. There you go. Go. You get a little bit slower there. Come on, my guy. String shot on a Zubat. Or Golbat, rather. Got him! Yes, that was close. Oh, I don't know what the volume is like right now. Hopefully it's, it's tolerable, guys. Um, so yeah. Obviously this level didn't go ideally earlier. But I believe I was able to um, redeem myself somewhat by make by uh, actually doing all right later on. And then again, don't want to count my executors before they're hatched, like always, like I said. So we're not gonna count those yet. Um, not gonna count this as a victory yet. We still have a couple more waves. This could be our end, actually. Okay, there we go. Just come back on confusion. Shoot. I'm gonna actually try to get Pidgeo to whirlwind on this guy. This is getting kind of ridiculous. Okay, that's cool. Let's try to not kill him in the meantime and try to string shot these guys maybe. A lot of stuff you gotta do. A lot of stuff you gotta do here. Alright, we need to string shot this guy, I believe. Let's try to kill him. Oh, this is bad. I don't think we got him. We didn't get him. <sighs> hey guys, okay, so I did manage to slow the guy down, but this is our last fossil. Okay, there's one over here, but um, not sure if it's salvageable. Not with him doing like no damage. Well, this is our last wave, though, so we should be alright, hopefully. I believe we're gonna be okay. Yes! That was close, guys. What? How did you stop us? You used some sort of black magic. That was incredibly hard. Much harder than it needed to be. 
a lot harder than it needed to be. Um, so next time, actually, we're not going to tackle Cerulean Gym right away. We're going to get the old rod. We're going to do the old rod challenge because once you get the old rod and you tackle um, many water places, the first of which is Cerulean Gym, Cerulean Gym 2, you um once you tackle those places with the old rod you actually you actually get different encounters um such as magic carp that you would not get before um and it used to be one of the, <coughs> a shiny magic carp used to be one of the rarest thing to get because the only place to grind for it would be cerulean gem one and yeah whatever <laughs> so anyways guys thanks for watching and stay tuned for more pokemon tower defense get the old rod i just messed up the recording bye